the visitors arrived in 50 gigantic motherships, which stunned the world with their monumental size and power. We have come in peace. God said to tell you that strange lights will appear over your cities. And in time, you will see the ships over your cities. Now, there was a show that aired in 1983. It was called V, the original miniseries. And when Celestio said that there would be ships seen in major cities in all over the world, it brought back to my remembrance the show. Kenneth Johnson, Michael Wright, and Richard Lawson. Richard Lawson and Michael Wright were the actors that starred in the series, and the creator name was Kenneth Johnson. He was the one that created the show V. It was actually a miniseries, and it became a series between the years of 1983 and 1985. Now, I've seen this multiple times. So when Celestio said that this event will take place, it brought me back to the show. And it, it reminded me of how Celestio likes to insult our intelligence. She insults the intelligence of the viewers. She has us believing that God said these things. That God said these things. And we know, many of us who are aware of what she is doing, she is playing games. She is playing or mind games to make people believe that she's receiving prophetic messages from the Lord. This is entertainment. I said it before uh, on my other video that it's fictitious, this woman, this the details that she spends. And we will continue to expose her and, and let everyone know about her because she has deceived many people. She has de She's had me fooled. I've listened to her uh, f throughout the summer, and I thought that she was a true woman of God. And, and she tricked many of us. Many of us were fooled by her. But as you listen to many of her videos about zombies and about Obama being the Antichrist and, 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 and different, uh, uh, things about, uh, let's say not only aliens and zombies, but also she, she also talks about dinosaurs coming back and, and many of those things. And, and she, tries to make it sound as though it's prophetic and that God is saying these things. And she has deceived many people. So like I said before, we will continue to we will continue to expose her because she is getting all of this from f television and from movies. And you know, a lot of people have seen uh Independence Day with Will Smith and but th this really hits it right on the spot right here. This 1983 miniseries V. It hits it on the spot. Why? Because she got her ideas from the show. She got many of her ideas from the show. This is UFO showing up in, in, in major cities around the world. And if you listen to this video, you will hear her hatred for the USA. Other nations around the world commit sins, and, and the USA has, has committed many atrocities and sins as, as well. But her hatred for the USA is so great that she's even said that huge, big ships, we will have bigger ships that will be coming to us in the USA than any other country around the world. So if you listen to this video, you will hear this woman say these things. She said she speaks such hatred against the USA. And she says that it, it, in, in, in her other video, she's even said that she is called to be a prophet to the USA to warn us about the things to come. However, uh, Celestial, you are uh, uh, not a true prophet of God. You are not, you are false. And everyone knows you are false. And you are still to this day on your channel. You, ha uh, 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 you have not apologized. You not, that says you were sorry for the things, for the false things you have said that God said. And it's not true. And now you're still talking as though you have some kind of prophetic truth or anointing on your life. And, and this is, this is, I, I, I said it before and I'll say it again. Uh, uh, Celestio, Esther, Phasia, Galaki, Galakai, you, you need to, you are, should be ashamed of yourself, Celestio. And I, like I said, 
many of you are beginning to wake up. Many of you have already woken up. But I want you to share this video with this, as many people as you possibly can, because this woman should be should should be stopped. We ought to pray for her in repentance, and we ought to pray for her to renew and come to God and renew her spirit and become become healed of all these lies that she's telling people to be delivered. We 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 we, we, we can she continue to pray for her, but for the meantime. As she continued to speak lies on her channel, whether it be uh, 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 on BitChute or Rumble, any of those uh, social media platforms that she used, we should continue to let people know about her. It is not to hate her, but it's to let people know that these things are not true. This is, uh, this is a spread of misinformation. This is, that's exactly what it is. Okay, and so, I wanted to point this out to you, that this show came out in the 80s, and it was very big. There was no internet back then. There was no cell phones. But the minute when it aired on television, so many people had seen it, that's all you heard about the next day, because it was, the way it was created, the way the show was put together, the assemble of actors, it was a very powerful show, and it had a very political statement that it made. And I don't want to, spoiler alert, I don't, I don't really want to give the movie or miniseries away, so you need to see it if you would like to see it. But I've seen it a number of times, and that's why I say that when Celestia said what she said about the mothership being in other places around the world, and especially the huge big motherships it will be in the USA, I, I said, wait a minute, this sounds like that 1983 miniseries that I saw, uh, that I've seen so many times. So, uh, please, if you want, check it out. But Celestial uh, uh, Esther, you are exposed. You continue to be exposed. You will continue. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, you will be exposed. And you are being exposed. And, you, and people will continue to expose you on their, on their media platforms because they should. The last thing, something that I, that I have heard from the Lord for years, many years, but I have never actually written about it on the blog as yet. I have quite a few prophecies about it and I think that I'm nearing the time where I don't have a choice. I will have to put them up if he gives me this to say publicly today. The Lord says to tell you, America, that strange lights will appear over your cities. Your skies will be full of them as the enemy becomes more bold and audacious than he ever has before. And I saw colorful lights, little orbs, blue, yellow, green, white, spinning and playing like toys in the sky, doing tricks, zipping in the sky, and everybody and their grandmother was on the ground filming it for dear life. God said to tell you that strange lights will appear over your cities and in time you will see the ships over your cities. Your skies will be full of them as Satan becomes very bold. And the devil will show himself in this way. I think there's only one prophecy on the blog where I just came out and said it. It's the prophecy that says it's forced vaccines and aliens. At the bottom, I just, as I was writing that prophecy, I just felt this great weight on my heart and I just wanted to be free of this knowledge. And I just came out and I said it. I said one of the dreams that I had had from the Lord concerning this issue. The Lord has told me that the biggest of the ships will come to America, that these ships will be all over the world in their time, but the biggest of them will be over the American cities. They will show themselves so plainly and without shame. And here's the pitiful part. People will welcome them as if it was Jesus himself. You will be destroyed by them. 
you will be destroyed by the 